Protests and anger have surrounded the crash of the moped of Jamal Gonzalez, and investigations are underway to determine if a police cruiser actually made contact with that moped. Today, more arraignments following disorderly conduct arrests during a protest last night. 12 News reporter Brandon Truett joins us live in Providence right now with the latest. Brandon. Well, Kate, and all nine people were arrested last night. Seven of them were here in court just a few moments ago. Those charges ranging between obstruction, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. Thursday morning in Providence District Court, another round of suspects arraigned from overnight protests. In all, nine were arrested, seven by Providence police. Those seven appearing before a judge on a range of charges. The suspects between 19 and 42 years old. The youngest, Yozaro Polanco. He's facing charges from both Providence and Rhode Island State Police. Prosecutors saying he was seen throwing debris at officers from both agencies. When police tried to arrest him, they say he fled for a time. In all, he's facing five charges and received the highest bail of the day at $5,000. 42-year-old John McCullough is from Boston, also facing a disorderly conduct charge, signing extradition papers to be released back to the Bay State. All of this a result of the most recent night of chaos in Providence streets. Protesters responding to the moped accident, putting 24-year-old Jamal Gonzalez in a coma, and more so the role police might have played in it. Warwick, Cranston, Providence, and state police working to disperse the crowd Wednesday night. Police saying bricks and bottles were thrown their way. Providence police saying one of their officers had minor injuries. And it's worth noting two others were arrested by Cranston police. They are facing similar charges to what we saw here at Providence District Court. One of them arrested by Cranston police said to be a juvenile. Live in Providence, Brandon Truett, 12 News.